Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Skyrim. It's a nice foggy morning. And well, we're here on the mountainside. Oh, also there's apparently a potion. <laughs> cool. Uh, we have just come out of the barrel. And frankly, we are on the wrong side of the mountain really because we... I've ended up... Oops, I should remove that. Right, don't click. We have ended up... Well, where are we actually? We're over here. Oh, okay, so we ended up a little bit further actually, but it's still on the right side. So we can drop down and uh, continue on back to Riverwood. That's good. For some reason, I thought we were like on the other side of the mountain. And that would be uh, ridiculous, wouldn't it? There's a lot of uh, mammoth skeletons though. This could be dangerous. We must proceed with caution. In fact, there's a lot of dead mammoth here. Like, a lot. This is impressive. Who killed those many mammoths? The world may never know. I want to get this cave right here. Oh, look, there's a dock. Oh, this is the area that I, uh, was testing out all the mods and stuff in. I know exactly where we are. And there's the Brittle Shin Pass. Now, I believe the Brittle Shin Pass will actually take us, like, all the way to the other side right here. We don't really want to go through there. The fuck? Oh, it's like an elk or something. Well, there's stuff over there, but let's let's just get back to where we were. Because we want to finish up the Riverwood stuff, and then... Uh, you guys are right. Uh, I've listened to you in the comments. Uh, yeah, we should just continue on and... Go along with the main quest a little bit. At least until we get ourselves, like, a house or something. Whoa! Damn skeevers. Ooh, got a frame drop there when I killed it. Skeever controls the frames. Actually, I, I have lower frames than I am expecting to have here. Hmm. I think it's a recording software. That's fine. We'll live with it. Or I'll have to, at least. Now, thankfully, there's not really much in the way. If I knew that we were going to come around this way, I wouldn't have gone to check out Anissa's cabin just yet, because obviously you walk right by it. It's just a weird little thing. I think they planned it out sort of like this. That makes sense. And there's her cabin. Again, we're not going to fuck with her because she's sort of a ridiculous... There's something after me? Oh, there's a wolf over there. Because uh, she's actually kind of powerful at the beginning of the game. Um, and there's no real reason to go into her basement. She doesn't really do anything. She doesn't have a lot of items or anything. She's just a, you know, crazy old kooky witch. Who will attack you if you find out that she's a witch. That's okay. Oh, there's somebody out here. Who is it? Oh, look at that. Oh my god. If you are not here to grant me a good death, then you can leave. Okay, why do, you, why do you wish to die? My time has come. I am old. Too old to become chief. It would be wrong for me to take wives at this age. So I will die. What? Malakath has given me a vision of a glorious death. I am to wait here until it finds me. As you can see, it has not yet arrived. But you're not that old. Yes, were I to simply lay down and die. It would not please Malakath. <sighs> well, I, yeah, all right. Perhaps. Are you sure about this? On second thought, maybe not. Yeah, sure, fuck it. We shall see. Okay, good. Although you did kill two saber cats, so... Although you may end up killing me. Stop blocking! It's like a... Oh, 
Oh, God. Oh, but we killed him first. Well, gave you a good death, sir. May you have peace with Malakath, wherever he is. What do you have on you? Nothing that good. He has an amethyst, though. Well, that's a fun little thing. I don't think I've ever gotten this random event. I like getting random events that are completely new to me. By the way, that was totally within line of like what the orcs actually want. They do worship Malakath, and um, I think the Malakath actually made them. Like they're born from Malakath. Like the first orc was his son, or like half son, or something like that. Well, I mean, you can't be a half son. He was a son. Um, and so I don't feel bad about that because that's like what he wanted and it didn't, the game didn't give me a choice otherwise. So, oh, well, well, here we are back in Riverwood. guess let's uh, go give this old guy his claw back. Now I will say something after you give him the claw. Oh, this is the wrong place. After you give him the claw. There is a possibility that thieves can appear at the middle of the night and try and steal it back again, but it's a random thing and we probably will never see it because we probably won't be here. Now, I believe his sister is a uh, one of the people that... Uh... How did you know? Do you see it on me somewhere? I don't see it. Weirdo. Uh, his sister, I think, is a... Uh, possible like you can marry her and then someone else in the villages as well yeah 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 Sooner you find I have the claw found it. <laughs> there it is strange it, it seems smaller than I remember <laughs> funny thing huh I'm what are you applying huh belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this you've done a great thing for me and my sister all right so he says he's gonna put it back where it belongs, literally on the counter. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. And now, because we've done this, I think a couple of the things here are like take, like the sword you can just take, some of the food, all that. Um, but that's about it. That's all that there is here. I don't think she has anything for us. Yeah. So, nothing else here. Um, alright. I guess we can leave here. We've done the tutorial bit. Um, there's something else that we can do here. Whoops. Oh, it's J for journal. Notice if... Si oh, right. Talk to Fane, though. Can it only track one thing at a time? Oh, okay, there we go. I didn't I wasn't tracking my miscellaneous. Oh, I can put that away. Well, I guess let's go tell Feindal what he did. Um the funny thing is in this quest line, you can actually just straight up marry the person that uh <laughs> they like. I don't think it changes the quest at all either. Tell me soon as you've given Camilla the letter. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. And that's that. And he becomes a follower. The real reward you get from this is the follower bit. Um, mm -hmm. They will follow you and help you out. Feindal is a little bit better because he's actually trained as an archer. Um, so he's the better, like, technical reward from all this. But it's also a little strange in that, like, I don't know. I guess it's just there to show you that there are quests that could have different outcomes based on what you do. But there's barely that much of a difference between that. I, I think it's kind of a bad example at the very beginning. Han and Girder. I don't think there's anything else to do here. I think we may be done with Riverwood. And that's fine. If there is something else, we'll obviously come back here. We do have to come back here later for something else. So it's okay. We're moving on. Gosh, the game is pretty. Um, especially the elk that falls out of the sky and just dies. Did everybody see that? It just sort of... Boop, and there it is. Dead elk. Fucking weird. 
All right. So, we want to go over this way. What is that noise? The fuck is that noise? It's not an urn root or anything, it's just a weird, like, fairy noise jingling and jangling. Jingle jangle. It's actually kind of great to go to Riverwood this way because, I mean, uh, to Whiterun this way. I've done this part so many times before that, uh, after a while I sort of stopped going the main, like, on the road. And there's just, I don't know, something about seeing this. The water, the natural beauty as you come out of these wooded areas. Oh. Walking past the uh, windmills and the green areas. S seeing this waterfall that cascades down. They really did put a lot of thought into the very beginning of the game because of all of this that you see and you're introduced to. And it's all pretty much um, peaceful, too, because none of this is really... You know, dangerous. Riverwood ha had a couple of extra places nearby that you could go through and uh, be privy to, but otherwise, it was, it's pretty much just peaceful. Look at all this wildlife, too. Also, it looks a lot prettier on mine because I have the Spring Skyrim thing installed, but it still doesn't change the fact that they you know, planned all this out in this way. Let's stay on the path for a little bit. So there's a couple of things up there that we could check out. But, let's see, what's this? Haunting Brew Meadery. I don't think there's anything here until much later. This is actually part of a quest elsewhere. <clears throat> Before we go into Whiterun, I want to check out a couple things here because there's a couple things that happen down there that are just gonna activate and I don't want it to activate quite as suddenly so let's go ahead and discover a couple things over here there's a cave over here there's stuff over here there's something very specific that I want to discover that's a little extra quest over on this side bashing in the brains of every rat and skeever that I see. I think the extra quest is over there, though. That's fine. We'll head over there in a second. I guess we'll end up going this way anyway when we go to Winterhold, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna try not to use fast travel as much because I did install so many mods that are, you know, to make it look prettier. Well, not so many, but enough. Right River Watch. Oh, it's a bandit camp. Oh, dead. So yeah, bandit camps exist a lot of places. Jesus. I'm not on easy, am I? No, I'm on expert, actually. Okay. So. All right. I guess we're just amazing. Studded armor. Ooh. So this armor is actually just as good as ours, but uh, does not carry the Imperial stuff on it, but that's okay. We're okay with Imperial for the moment. Note to Rudluff. Interesting. Cooked beef. So note to Rudluff. Your little stunts try my paces. I know my uncle has issues, but he is our watchman, and you respect him. No more sneaking in and out. No more games with his ledger or nails on his chair. One more joke, and you'll see how funny a day in the cage can be. Well, that's interesting, and I imagine you probably find uh, Rudluff inside of that cave. Probably in a cage, because he's an uh, idiot. We're not going in there just yet, but we did kill his uncle. Did is there a bear trap there? There was! All right, so we found that. I just like to find it just because it's so close. And it's another bandit place that you can explore. I'm gonna pass that up for just now, just for now. 
And let's, before we go left, because that's the way we have to go to get into Whiterun, let's uh, get these windmills over here out of the way. Oh yeah, there's a nerd root down here. I already have one, so might as well. They are limited spawns in this game. I will have to find them. Somehow. I'm pretty sure there's a map, like last time. I just gotta remember the ones that I did pick up and didn't pick up. So, chill furrow farm. These things don't really actually have quests. I don't think so. Um, I may have to look it up later, but I don't believe that most of these areas have it. It's just here to be realistic, because there would be farms nearby. Also, this is a family that will meet in White Run, the Battleborns. But I want to head this way a little bit, because there's a specific extra little quest that you can get. And you wouldn't get it if we continued on normally. It's actually kind of funny because the game, you know, actually does remember that, hey, this is, you know, a real world and things happen in the real world. Specifically, there's a cart that's been overturned over here. Oh, well, this wolf is just killing all the rabbits. All right. Hey, wolf. Oh, God. Just face and then it's spine. Oh, hi. There's a person taking a walk. Look at that. Courier. Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Oh. Well, that's fine. Where is this cart? The only reason I want to do this quest now, as opposed to later, is because... Well... If you activate a certain quest line, this quest disappears completely. Because it makes sense. This person's, you know, part of everything. Oh, White Watch, huh? These bandits? Nope. Look at that. I'm helping out the guard. Bandits came to White Watch. I love these little random encounters that can happen. I think they might be happening more because I've got a, a, a mod installed for NPC, like, interaction and actually doing stuff. But I'm not entirely sure on that. Okay, where is this cart for real? Is that it right there? That might be it. That is it, indeed. So let's discover this real quick. It's another windmill area. Another farm. And, uh, down here. Wow, look at this. This seems really bad. I mean, you know, the wheel fell off and you got a real big box there, sir. Oh, hello. You know, this actually reminds me, uh, oh god, uh, of a book that I read in high school. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. Oh, it's really convoluted. One of the chapters is my mother is a fish. But, like, they, you know, had to bring their dead mother, you know, in a box from one place to another because she wanted to be buried somewhere else. And it was just absurd. And by the end of it, the coffin was, like, just destroyed and rattled. Anyways, is there a problem? Oh. I'm taking mother to a new home, a new crypt, but ah, wagon wheel, damnedest wagon wheel, it broke. Don't you see? Oh, that sucks, man. Uh, can I can I help? Oh, oh, oh yes, <laughs> yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. I do understand the dead, oh, you know. The Lorius farm, just over there, off the road. He has tools. He can help me. But he won't. He refuses. Oh, what a dick. Uh, 
convince lorries to fix my wheel. Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin. Gleamy, shiny coin. Well, okay, I, gu I guess we didn't do that. It's not out of the way at all, and it's just right up here. I wonder why he's not fixing the, f the wheel. That seems like such a dick thing to do. Yo, what's up? Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? <laughs> the little man really needs your help with his wagon. That Cicero fella? Yeah. Tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? I mean, what's the problem? Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. Okay, so he's eccentric, but that's... transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. Listen, I gotta get a book for you to read. War contraband, weapons, skooma? There's no way I'm getting involved in any of that. Yeah, I mean, come on. Don't be a dick. And just who in Mara's name are you anyway? Hmm? Come here, telling me my business. And for what? To help a, a, a fool? You you should help him. Look, I... Don't be a dick. Yes, you're right, you're right. The fella might be nutters, might not. The fact is, he needs help. I turn him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? Exactly. Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. There we go. No need to be a complete asshat. Cicero, I got your back. Don't worry, man. You're a little eccentric and weird, but you get your mother there. Mother. Her home seems so very far. This is a weird way to talk, but I <laughs> got your wagon wheel. You did? He has? He has. Yeah, sure. Okay. For your troubles, shiny, gold. A few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs> yeah, no, no problem. As long as your uh, mother's not a fish. Okay. Well, there we go. Completed that. Just a simple little helping out. I'm sure we won't see them ever again. Ever, again. I'm sure some of you already know who that character is. And if you didn't know about this little quest, now you do. It's a fun little thing that uh, really doesn't come up until way later in the game. Um, and he even mentions uh, when he shows up that his cart did break down and that was the reason why he was late. So there you are. If you didn't know about it, cool. I did it. And we got that out of the way. So let's go ahead and continue on. We still got half an hour in the session. I can definitely get to Whiterun. We could probably even talk to the Jarl. Oh my god, the like orange light. It's like a painting. What was that uh, YouTube channel that recently stopped because he got hired by um, Criterion? Every, every uh, frame of painting? If you've never seen those videos, uh, look that up on YouTube. It's just fantastic like examinations into film and everything but every frame of painting literally is this it's actually really hard to choose what's going to be like the thumbnail sometimes <laughs> all right so we've found this Should continue on down here a little bit harvest leak there's a stable over here too look at that and another farm there's so much farmland actually it's really really Almost, I don't know how to say this like properly, but it's actually very realistic. And they did the same thing in uh, Oblivion too, where almost every single town had a farmland right outside of it, except for I guess Lewin and Bravel because they were on marshes. Oh shit! Okay, well it started already. I'm not close enough. Oh shoot! So over there, there's a little something going on. 
There's a giant fighting people. Oh no. We should help. And really, as long as you get one hit in. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the what? Why? 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 Why are they attacking me? What the fuck? I can't even. What the fuck? What happened there? They were just. What? Oh my god, really? Alright, well, I'll be right back. Hail, friend. Ah, oh, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Huh. That's so why I was walking back and came across this. Sure. This isn't gonna start that one quest, right? Oh no, he just gives us hunting brew mead. Just a bunch of drunks, you know, standing together and drinking. Cool. I actually didn't expect that. All right. Now yeah, there's a good en enough time as any to bring it back to, you know, a unique little thing and going back through here. Let's figure out, you know, what went wrong. So quick save. And I tried to go through this as, as quickly as possible. So it's not even orange light out. So we get a little bit more light. Because the end of the game is getting really dark now, actually. So... Sorry about that. There's Chilfuro. We'll probably start to see this fight occur. Just over here in a second. We're certainly heading there as quick as we, as we can. But you definitely want to get in on this fight. Just so that people like you more. But for whatever reason, they also, like, got got into combat with me afterwards. Because if you just stand around and don't help, and they kill it, then they're all, like, angry. At least, you gotta get at least one hit on. There we go. Bam. Dead. See? He's like, you're strong, you should come join us. And then you're like, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, who are you people? Getting tired of hanging around, talking all day. Oh, one of them will actually talk, talk to you. There you go. Well, you could make for a decent shield, brother. Hey, Ayla. What, what, what is the shield, brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? Nope. The Order of Warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. I see. That's great. Coin is great. Uh, you know, starting a new life and everything, so. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Gravaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Well, thank you. So, uh, there we go. We have an official invitation to join the Companions. Also, Ayla, by the way, is the one that I, I made her my wife in the first playthrough that I did of this. So, that's always fun. Also, I don't remember you. Are you a member of the Companions, Rhea? I guess so. Must be. Anyways, Giant Dead. If you don't actually do it in time, she'll come over and kind of, like, berate you for it. You can still join the Companions, but I just hate getting berated by her. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I'd rather not have that. There's the stables. There's one other thing that I want to activate and see because that tower right there is, well, kind of unique. And if we don't go to it now, we're not going to see it quite how it is. Um, and something else might happen that's fun for us. That's actually part of a mod, but I dearly love it, so we're going to go check it out. And hopefully it hasn't happened yet. But sometimes it likes to activate too early, and then we don't see it, and then I get upset. But hopefully not. Something making noises behind me. Wait, what? So is this place always just ruined? I really thought that it was, uh, like, fully 
functional and everything, and it wasn't destroyed and all that stuff. What? Yeah, that's the face I would have, too. Also, that dude's stuck on... There we go. So, I wanted to <laughs> just have this occur because I love this little mod. This is actually, like, a semi-official mod. It's made by Valve. So, I totally consider it part of the actual game. <laughs> well, made by Valve and Bethesda. It was, like, one of the first mods to pop up on the workshop, and I got it to work with Special Edition. So, um... Huh. There's a space core. It's values 256. Because, you know, 256 uh, hey, values in 8-bit. 3.1, I don't know what that weight means, but... We'll, just, we'll take that. And now we have the space core. There's two things we can do with the space core. We can either just keep it on us and we'll have a space core. And then, you know, let's just... I think it's in our miscellaneous... Yep, Space Core. Tender Miscellaneous just sort of lives there. So we could turn it into a helmet. I will say its stats are that of um, just a regular iron helmet. And I thought this would be different and more interesting, but it's not. So we'll just go straight to right run. Or we could keep it and put it on display in a house and it'll say strange things and be funny. So up to you guys. I'll let you decide what we do with the Space Core. Um... Personally, I never like making him in the helmet because I kind of like having it around because it just spouts off random stuff and the armor isn't that useful. But if you want to see a spell space core helmet, we'll totally do it. Also, there's an armor and mud crab around here somewhere that I got from the Creation Club. I don't know what that entirely means. Like, is it a follower you pay for? Is it a mount? I don't know. It seems dumb to me, but we could check it out later if you guys want. I think it's actually like at White Run too. Oh, notice of sale. I have... I have a notice of sale? Dwarven mud crab. Uh, and then purchase mud crab. Um, you seem to be quite interested. Laboratory in Understone Keep. I don't know where that is. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's in Markarth. Alright, well, we're not going to be there for a while, so that's fine. I'm just going to turn that off. We can always get that mud crab when we go there if we want. Or, you know, not if we don't. Either is okay with me. By Ismir, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Laurius farm. Fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> oh, you laugh at his plight, but I helped him. Well, sounds like you've had quite a journey, Uska. But you were gone longer than usual. Is there more? You sound like my ma. Figured I was lying dead in the field somewhere. Is that it? Thought did cross my mind. Yeah. War brewing. Talk of a riot in Helgen. Have now jesters. Skyrim's gone mad, girl. You need to be careful. I think she could take care of herself. Careful, huh? Thanks, Skullbar. I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah, right. Just wow, totally to brush him off. All right. Well, we need to go in there. Because obviously we have something to tell the Jarl. We're on a mission. Man on a mission. Dee -dee 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 -dee. God, it looks so pretty. Although the walls totally glitch out from afar, and I don't know why they're doing that. I've tried uninstalling every texture mod, and it still just does that. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. I think it's loading two long distance textures. Oh. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. What? But. What? Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Well, apparently they don't like outsiders. This is not going to bode well for an Argonian. By the way, for those of you that have noticed that I have a level up waiting for me, I I know, trust me, I know. Pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours 
and ask Yorland Greymane for help. <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. No, oh, looks like uh, you're having a problem there, lady. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at. Oh, never mind. Who are you? Oh, it's a battleborn. Greymane or battleborn? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Greymane or battleborn? I don't know what you're talking about. I know there's a Battleborn farm. New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. Difference is, the Greymanes turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. Ah. So I'll ask again, Greymane or Battleborn? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting involved in this. Or later, we all have to choose a side. Unless you don't do that quest line. Or get a mod. Hmm. Well, we do have a ton of stuff we need to sell, so let's go in here. The War Maidens. Oh god, that's such a great name for this shop. Well, I have a lot to sell. Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. We got plenty of steel for fighting men. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Oh, so we can get an. Oh wow, the barter thing. Uh, uh, crafting feathers? What is this for? I don't remember what crafting feathers is for. So he's got some interesting stuff. He's got full steel stuff, by the way, and uh, leather, which is way better than what we have. But we should probably sell a couple of things. Like this fur. Now, where is your... You have a thousand... Okay. So we can actually sell quite a bit of stuff. Uh, yeah. There's our iron warhammer. We have a steel warhammer right now, right? Ancient war axe of cold. And we have the steel warhammer. That's 33 damage. Iron battle axes, 26. Cool. We can get rid of that. Get rid of that. We have two longbows, apparently. And is the ancient bow better, or... This is... Nine... Six. Yeah, it is. You definitely want to keep one pickaxe on you, because it'll let you, uh... Mine veins and stuff like that. But, uh... Is there anything else that we need from here? No. Okay. And you still got gold? You got tons of gold. Just sell all of this. Oh, and the shield, because we don't need a shield. There we go. Got rid of quite a lot that we didn't need. Now, notice, he only sells and buys certain things, so you can't do sell everything to him. Actually, we could sell... Oh, just the wolf pelts, that's all he accepts? Not the jewels. All right. Adrian at her forge, just outside. Place is named after her, War Maidens. It's a childhood nickname given by her father. What I hear, she was playing with swords even back then. Oh, that's fun. Anyway, our wares are strong and the price is fair. What else matters? Not not a lot. That's great. Good doing business. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so. Now that we've sold off our stuff, I thought we could get the quest from her, but I think we have to wait until she's actually here and not, like, enjoying herself at the bar because it's, you know, closer to nighttime. In fact, a lot of the quests that happen around here are probably going to be towards nighttime more than anything else. So, let's go ahead and head up to the keep and just continue on with the main quest for now. We'll come back and grab everything that we need later. All these side quests and stuff, because I don't think any of them go away once we're done. Oh, there's Adrienne. Can, can we not get the quest from her now? Have you met my father? Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker. 
Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. I did get an invitation to join them. Mm -hmm. Also, her dad uh, works up here. He's the steward. Look at that. Where there's Dragon's Reach. Ulfred, patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. No, don't know at all. I he probably should. I just think we need more information. As house call, just my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. Well, uh th there was there's a dragon. You know about Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach. Sup, Jarl? Well, don't you look all you special? You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yep, my own beady little bug eyes. <laughs> really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. Well, but it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is what exactly happened at Helgen. Well, there was a dragon. I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains, the Jarl of Balkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon oh, the torch ran out. And slaughters my beast. Does this do another torch? It does not. Oh. To Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. Ooh. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. What is that supposed to mean? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay, I'll come with you. Also, he gave us a little better piece of armor, because we've been wearing the actual Imperial Light Armor, and he gives us a studded Imperial Light... Wait. Is it really the exact same? Well, it looks nicer, I guess. It's really not any different? Yeah, it just looks different. Well, whatever. Fashion souls, I guess. Let's see what he wants to talk about. Oh, wow. You you got like a whole wizard thing going on here. and Oh, wow. This is impressive. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon. Project. Oh, look, he has the light spell going. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. I need that one. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh, yes. He must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Oh, really? Fetch quest? When I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Oh. Um. Where, where, where would I be going to get this? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? Excuse me? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleakfar Barrow. A dragon stone. 
said to contain a map of dragon burial site. Oh. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Um, you mean this thing? Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes they are foists on me. So, uh, what do I get in return? You'll have to see the Jarl about that. No, oh, okay. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. Fine. Whatever. Whoops. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Uh, uh. What? Oh, God. She's, like, running in there. What's happening? Baringa, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. I'm sorry, I left Skype on, apparently. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack White Run, I don't know if we can stop it. I mean, probably not. I don't suppose I can come with you. Oh, I can. So, Jiraleth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? Ugh, this is annoying. It's so dark. Well, it's annoying in a, like, really good way. Like, I really want to keep it dark, but... Ugh, it is gonna get, like... I can't equip that, can I? No. There we go. Oh, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. Yeah. <laughs> There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Do you? I want you to go with Irleth and help her fight this dragon. What? You, you know I'm a lizard, right? So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. I mean, more experience running from I them. I forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for far I mean, technically I already did that before. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. Oh, with my non-existent money? Accept this gift from my personal arm. Wait, what? I should come along. Ooh, much hide bracers of lockpicking. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. Ain't nobody high command. and mighty in me, Tom. One last thing here. Right. This isn't Don't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of course. I don't think that you are. Alright, so we got some bracers from the Jarl. Except they're hide. I mean, it... Really, really? Some, something told me that I was going to get, like, not great stuff, but this is just, you know, another, like, level of, I don't know, weirdness. Anyways, also, you could go over here. Yeah, I will, I will. You can actually go over here and, uh, like... Press E on each one of these little flags, and it'll update your map with where they are. So it's a good uh, little. Okay, there we go. Probably got most of them, if not all of them. Doesn't matter. We're gonna find them all anyway. But there's a dragon. Well, this is this is gonna be a problem for the people of Elgin. Let me tell you, because dragons are a bad deal. I mean, it, or I mean, some <laughs> people of White Reach. Or White Run. White Run? Yes. White Run. With the capital of Dragon's Reach. That's what this is. So I guess uh we're gonna go help defend the city from a dragon. Cool. Cause I wanted to be pulled into this nonsense. It's great, you know? And now I can I but listen, I can buy a house with the money that I don't have. So that's great, right? 
Perfect. It's great. That's everything I've ever wanted. Well, if I am going to my doom, at least it's doing something awesome. Because who? how many people could say that they've fought a dragon? I mean, really. Whoop. So that tower, huh? Well, we were there a second ago. And now it's actually... Huh. You have to run up to it. That's very interesting. They removed the map marker that I had for it. It's no longer discovered for me. It's very interesting. You, you coming? Did I, did I beat you to it? Oops. I'm just going to jump the wall. Well, if there's a dragon and we got to beat it back, I guess I should literally get ready to beat it back. I don't see it, though. Oh. Oh, gosh. That's a lot of fire. Well, it looks like it did end up attacking. Am I supposed to wait here for her? This is a bad, bad sign. And there's the Western Watchtower. Oh gosh, the sky is just beautiful. Wow. Although I'm not seeing any dragons. Anyone here? Wait a minute. Oh, shit. It is a dragon. Well, here we go. We're fighting a dragon. Can't do much while it's in the air. There you are. Oh my god, he has a name! Oh, he does a lot of damage, by the way. Like, a lot. What? What? Did I just walk into the fire? Well, you landed. Oh, we should probably level up <laughs> so that we don't die. That's what I was waiting for. Health gets a level up, full health, and... We should be able to get another piece of two-handed. No, no, we're not. Okay. So then, light armor? Oh, it makes it make us harder to hit. Yeah, let's do another of light armor for now. Until you guys let me know. I mean, this is pretty much our play style at this point. Run in, use the hammer. Oh! I didn't- I was not paying attention to my health there. This is really hard at a low level. I forgot about this. Where are we? Oh, we're like all the way over here. And it's fine. All right, let's try this one more time. Because the dragon's not too, too difficult, but when you're a low level, it actually is quite hard. I think they almost mean for you to, like, jump in the tower and, like, fight him from the top, but... Well, uh, frankly, easier said than done, to be honest. So let's just... Discover this place until we've discovered it and start to go up here. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Porky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Oh, keep it 
save us. Here he comes again. I wonder if there's something like unique with the dragon up in the tower. I've never actually fought him up on the tower. Woo! There he is. There's a magic user down there. Is it Faringa? Or is it the woman? Well, this time he landed over there. He will, by the way, kill all of the White Run guards. I distinctly remember them just being real bad at, at fighting against him. Well, he's up in the air again. No, he's up on the tower. Let's see if he actually stays there. Nope, he did not stay here. You fucker. I just want to be in one spot, please. Oh, he's coming up here now. Oh, he's speaking. Oh, that's weird. Do we just know what he's saying because he's a lizard? You want to try that again? You want to land up here? Nope, no you don't. Come on, you want to land? I don't know if I actually can land up here. No, I don't think you can. Never mind. For some reason, I kept thinking like, oh, you can just fight him up here. Well, that's fine. By the way, don't stand in front of a dragon. But do smack him in the behind. Dovakin. Ooh, dragon bones and scales and gold. Oh, and guard armor. I guess we'll just take that too. Sure, why not? Uh, what? What? Um. Use the shouts. Optional, use your new shout power. I mean, I'm a lizard, so it's kind of close. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. Oh, that's kind of awesome. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I don't know, it's kind of new to me. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legend, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Okay. Well... Let's try it. So, uh... Oh, immersive citizens. Look at that. There's that thing that I was talking about way earlier in the episode. Uh, which ones are actual shouts? Flames, restoration, powers, active effects. Oh, shouts right here. It's its own thing. So, uh, let's favorite this. Equip. And then... Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know who killed it. But I don't need some mythical dragon boy. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't an orc. 
<laughs> it's true, you should see Morrowind, it's pretty fucked up. Well, that's awkward and weird. Guess we'll uh, find out what all this means next time. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.